what is up guys how are you doing i hope you are doing good so uh, i noticed a lot of people doing comments in my video comment box okay in my all latest you know in the months that come Mind stack contents okay even also asking question in picotin website that they are suffering problem with the deployment part of this website of this mind stack e-commerce multi vendor website okay so yeah i know there uh, why people are pr suffering problem to deployment okay because of uh, for the only on reason and that is the images okay so i used basically malter in this project okay and uh, if we and i totally uploaded the all images in our own server okay so this is meanings if we want to deploy this website then we need to use dedicated server totally okay so we need to go to aws or uh, any other like google cloud or azure okay so, but the problem is in here and that is in our uh, who are watching my videos the most of the people don't have card okay so they don't purchase any services okay so they are just telling me hey yeah uh, uh, I am just using this project for just showing to college or for adding to portfolio. So I want some free resources. Okay, the problem is in here. We can do one thing also guys and that is uh, instead uploading that images to in our local device, okay, local server, we can upload that to S3 bucket, AWS S3 bucket. But there's also another problem and that is if you want to create AWS account, then you also need to add your card. Otherwise, AWS will don't approve your account. Okay, you cannot create an account. So this is the rules from my country. I don't know about another country, but probably the same system for another country also. Okay. So then what we can do? That's why I decided for, for this all problem, guys, I decided to uh, change this ecosystem. I mean the images upload ecosystem to cloud, okay, which is totally free for the first. Okay, uh, probably they give like how much space I don't know. We need to check it, right? I don't know how much space they give free. They give really free. Let me let me check it. Okay, so cloudinary.com. And let me just log in. Okay, so it's login. So we can go to media library. Or yeah, so notice they are giving us free how much? Wait. So when I'm clicking this upgrades plan, not so 1 gb storage or 1 gb bandwidth they are giving free okay so for the testing purpose of any application this is enough okay this space is enough for like testing or for uh, doing test testing type of work okay so we can use cloudinary i already uh, made on video okay i already made another man series before this series okay it was almost one years ago I used Cloudinary on that project. Okay. So I already changed the all code, guys. Okay. You don't need to worry about anything. I already changed the ecosystem with Cloudinary. But I'll right now explain you how did, uh, what I actually changed and what you need to do. Okay. So everything is done. I even I also uh, uploaded that to GitHub also. Okay. So you don't need to worry about anything. This all code is on GitHub. Okay. So I am just showing you. Uh, what I changed so simply I am closing these all files yep this one also as well yeah so I'm simply going to back to app.js the root and from here in the server.js first I installed on dependencies name is cloudinary okay first I installed on dependency name is cloudinary so npmi cloudinary very simple or we are in at cloudinary then uh, I went to Cloudinary website. You need to go to Cloudinary website and you need this Cloudinary name, API key and API secret. Okay. And one thing, you also need to add this three dot in bin here and you need to add this field. Okay. You need to fill this field with your informations. Yep. Then after it, Cloudinary connecting done. Okay, so right now, if I go to this controller, user.js from here, now not in here, I am what I am doing. So first I am uh, writing here, like constant Cloudinary equal to require Cloudinary. Okay, we are importing it. Then in here, uh, constant my cloud, simple variable. Okay, then I read Cloudinary.v2.uploader.upload. What actually this is to, this is simply upload the file. Okay, upload the images to Cloudinary. And I'm writing this, this will upload in avatars folder. Okay, that's it. 
and I also changed guys something in model because uh, if you want to work with Cloudinary then Cloudinary uh, provide us public ID and URL okay so suppose in here like this is public ID this is URL so I changed something in module also okay this is the public ID this is the URL which both type is string okay i'm just giving you an overview because right now it's not possible to properly explain everything again and again okay but uh, if you are not really want to learn cloudinary more detailed then i can suggest you please go to youtube and check my previous learn course okay i implement cloudinary in that course this this course i'm showing you yeah this one okay this was with cloudinary yeah great so uh here then after uploading cloudinary provide us on public id this public id need for uh, delete or yeah for delete that images okay then secure url meaning sorry url yep then everything is similar in here everything is similar and for the update avatar i also change it okay so back end probably if you see the code then you will understand the back end and on the front end back end is not i i didn't change that much but in front end i change a lot of things okay lot of things because as you know that when uh, we used malter okay when we used malter in our project uh, we added on uh, here on uh, back end url right after this server so why we added that because uh, we are totally uploaded our pictures in our own own device okay i mean own folder okay like in this uh, backend yeah this is the folder uploads folder okay that's why we used here like uh, go to root directory then choose the images but cloudinary is not like that cloudinary is totally providing us on uh, live url okay so we don't need to use the uh, backend url okay in here what we used so that's why i changed a lot of things like from here this lot of things meaning i'm showing you what is this very simple also okay here was backend url then slash i dot images then first object of the array okay then i changed that i changed that i removed that backend url that's totally not neat right now i added this this sign this is meanings uh if have then show this okay otherwise it, it will don't give any error to our code okay then url okay so the all places where i added the backend url the backend url i totally removed that and i added this okay instead of that i added dot url this dot url meaning i'm showing you again the model so this dot url meaning our image url okay that's it so right now guys one good news and that is uh, after change this everything to cloudinary i deployed this website okay and right now it's perfectly uh, perfectly working uh, it's really perfectly working so just i'm showing you this is the website okay i deployed it perfectly and here's the live version and uh, one thing that uh, some people are uh, showing me some bugs okay like uh, when they're deploying their backend server, they are receiving some bugs. Okay, so the the uh, solution is please check the dot env and add everything perfectly. Okay, and in your MongoDB also uh, approve the all network. If I show you like this, okay, lot of people doing this type of mistake, and uh, let me just show you what is that mistake. This is really lot of people doing. Okay, when they're deploying it, that's why their uh, their live version not working okay so i'm right now logging with my google account yep mongodb cloud i don't know why this is coming here okay finish so yeah this is here perfect okay cool so this is our database and this one obviously you need to add this in this network access you need to allow this uh, the all network otherwise if i remove this if i delete this then this website will doesn't work okay this will data will not come even back backend will also not work backend will stop okay 
So be make sure that you edit this everything perfectly. Okay, if everything is perfect, then I'm 100% give you a guarantee that everything will work. Okay, deployment will everything will work. Yep. So that that was this video guys, I'm not extending this video too long. Okay, because this is just an announcing announcement. And right now, if we go to github.com, not github.com, I mean, this is uh, this repo github.com slash uh, my name then eShop tutorial okay then note i already changed it 19 minutes ago and this is the back end url so right now yeah perfect and if i type slash test yeah this is working hello world okay so for deployment how to deploy this website you can easily check picodemy.com and i'm showing you how we have to deploy this everything in this video i already explained it okay fully perfectly if i come here this last part sorry this fifth part then in here if i play this video without sound here yeah probably the last few minutes yep this is the deployment part okay so from here i i explained everything okay how to you have to deploy this website okay so that's it and uh, one small thing i'm not telling you yeah one small thing this is important because a lot of people also can do uh, mistake in here okay that is you need to deploy the socket server again to uh, i mean if you are using my socket server okay because in this code if i show you the pages like uh, user inbox not this is my socket server url which is expired okay why expired expired is not like that okay actually uh, there's a limitation of every free services okay but a lot of people using this link a lot of people that's why render actually telling me for payment okay render is asking me for payment okay but obviously i will not pay for this right so uh, what you need to do you need to simply go to render and you will find out the all uh, how you have to um, deploy to render also the socket server okay everything in this including in this video so deploy that and copy that url and paste it in here okay in this user inbox and the seller inbox also okay seller inbox components probably or let me check where's that yeah here's it shop inbox page sorry dashboard messages so dashboard messages meanings where's this is dashboard messages in component shop Okay, so this is in components folder, then shop folder, and yep, here you go. Yep, this is. So also change this URL as well. Okay, deploy your socket server, then copy that URL and paste it in here. Okay, that's it. Yep. So it was the video, guys. I'm not extending it. Okay, again. So, uh, Thanks for watching and if you still suffering any problem then you can go to Bigodemi and you can ask question from here. Okay, this is totally free. You don't need to pay anything still right now. Okay. This course is still fully free. Okay. And I'll never charge for it because this is free course. Okay. So that's it guys. And bye bye. See you uh, in very soon with another content or another big Mars series. Okay. So that's it. See you soon.